Guys and girls, welcome back to YYC Designs RC Creations. I'm Twist, and down on the floor at my feet is my lovely girl Maddie. Um, she may or may not get on camera. Um, she may occasionally also bump the tripod, and for that I do apologize. But uh, she's just a baby, and she's playing, and she doesn't realize she's doing it. Hey, so uh, she's wanting to come up and visit. Come on, come on, come up, come up. Come on. There we go. So let's see if we can get her on camera here for you. So here's Maddie. She's a little short to get on camera and she's wanting to play instead. So, but anyway, um, so my little, okay, down, down, down. Good girl. So my little shop assistant is uh, more interested in playing than saying hey to y'all. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're in the little, down, we're in the little shop today, and the reason is, is because this is going to be a vlog, it's not going to be a build video, uh, mostly because I just want to update you on a couple of things, and uh, explain a few things, and I feel that I owe all of you an apology most especially uh, Sluicebox Steve, Rob, the owner of Root Beer, Uncle Lee, the owner of Dodgezilla, um, Mark from uh, Old Iron RC has, has been an incredible inspiration to me and he doesn't know it but he's kind of kept me together a few times too. Um, as you notice, my video schedule has become erratic over the last couple of months, and that is what I apologize for. I always intended on getting one, if not two, videos out every week. Uh, Wednesday and hopefully Saturday was always my, my target days that I wanted to get a video out to y'all. Obviously, I haven't made that. Uh, the reason is, and I don't want to unload here and, and drag you all into, into a bunch of drama you don't want to hear, but I have come to realize that uh, my depression over losing my beautiful wife Tams is affecting me far more than uh, I realized. It's um, some days I get up and... I don't even care to get out of bed, and if it wasn't for Maddie, I probably wouldn't. Uh, it's just, it's gotten bad. I'm not sleeping well. Um, I haven't been eating properly. I haven't, uh, I haven't been working on a lot of stuff because I have made so many parts and pieces for Root Beer and Voodoo and Dodgezilla over and over and over again because they're just not good enough to to film and to show you and if I if I can't make it perfect the way I want it to be I can't very well expect you all to think that it's any good either um, I got a bunch of work done on Little Red and Little Red is now running and uh, I'm going to get some, some video of uh, Spare Change and Little Red for you, some run video. Uh, spare Change is the Land Rover D90 that is over top of my shoulder. Sorry, my screen is backwards to me. Um, but that is Spare Change. And Little Red is kind of hiding behind my uh, half bald head here. Anyhow, uh, I have them both up and running now. Maddie, out. 
I have them both running now and I want to get some run video for y'all on those two specifically little red because it's the fiberglass hard body I built and uh, whereas spare change is a uh, is a kit it it's uh, it's a kit I ordered through Asia Tees so uh, yeah it's uh, oh now I'm trying to remember the name of the kit it's not boom racing maybe it is boom racing it doesn't matter spare change was a kit so it doesn't really matter who it's from but uh, there are some custom pieces on there that I did make but but the vehicle is is a kit so it's not exactly like I can show you my work running whereas little red I built everything but the frame so uh, that's a little more something I can claim as my own and my build and show you all running um, but that's kind of as far as I've gotten I made now I think a half a dozen sets of doors for uh, root beer and they just ended up in the scrap pile and crushed because I just wasn't happy with them and they they kind of ended up in my opinion just garbage and if I'm not happy with the part I just delete the video and I don't show it because if I'm not happy with it I don't expect y'all are going to be happy with it I, I want you all to see some really cool shit, not a bunch of mistakes or me trying to fix screw ups that I've made or whatever, you know. I want to I wanna show you all quality parts and quality builds and I'm just not there mentally right now. Um, I will be getting there very, very shortly. Um, but that's what this video is about is I is I basically want to apologize to y'all for my video schedule being erratic I don't want y'all getting the idea that I don't care about my friends who YouTube calls subscribers y'all are indeed my friends many of you have helped me in ways you can't even imagine um, through through losing Thames um, you you've helped in, in immeasurable ways that I can never repay you for but I don't want to let you down and I feel like I've let you all down and so since I haven't got a community tab where I can communicate with y'all this is the only way I can do it and I wanted to do a build video but uh, I also wanted to explain to you why I haven't been putting out videos on a regular basis and all that and and that's just it I just I haven't been sleeping I've been depressed like crazy and it's actually been harder now than it was when I first lost Tam and I, I think it's more mostly because um, the reality of it all has has really kicked in um, I am really missing her now because I'm trying to do work on the house, I'm trying to do work on our camper, even even little things I do to the bike, um, to RCs. I used to bring her in a piece I'd made and say, what do you think? And she would give me her opinion. I don't have that anymore. And I am feeling very, very lost without it. Now, I mean, yes, I have Maddie, and she's beautiful, and she's compassionate, and uh, she loves me, and I love her, but it's not like I'm going to get an opinion out of her, right? I mean, it's, it's completely different. Um, I did go for a ride on uh, my motorcycle here. I have a, an 04 Roadster, and I ride, I'm, I'm the senior road captain, for the Drifters Drifters Crew Independent Riding Club. There's a dozen of us. And uh, we raised enough money in the last year that we could go on a ride and it was paid for. So it was very, very cool. Had a great time with my brothers and sisters and had a beautiful ride that we made a loop from Calgary to Revelstoke to Creston to Fernie and back to Calgary. And uh, it was just, it was an amazing, beautiful, fun ride. Amazing scenery. Just, I, I love the Kootenai Valley. The Kootenai Valley holds holds my heart for sure. And uh, 
But it was very strange riding solo for the first time uh, on this bike. I have ridden solo before, just not on this bike. And Tam and I have ridden together on this bike now on eight years. And so it was very, very different riding this time because my Tams was not there. Now, she was a tiny little, well, she wasn't tiny, well, she was tiny, but more properly, she was a very petite woman. She was all of five foot two and about 97 pounds. So it's not like there was a lot of weight that isn't there suddenly, but it's enough. You know, it's a, it's a, it's huge when that's what you're used to. The bike feels like it's, well, it is cornering differently. And uh, we hit torrential rain our first day out. Oh God, it was just brutal fricking rain. Um, it's like living on the coast here in Calgary now. All we've been getting is rain. It's pissing down on us again today. I am so sick of rain. But the bike handles differently in the rain with a solo versus two up, yeah? So getting used to the bike. But the biggest problem is, is I just got to stop thinking all the time. And I try to sleep and I'm thinking. My mind is going a million miles an hour. I'm not sleeping and I feel like crap every day and nothing goes right in the shop, you know? Um, what can I say? It's, it's on me. It's all on me. It's just uh, I'm producing shit right now and I'm not happy with it and I'm not going to produce shit and try and pass it off as anything good. So uh, my video schedule has been erratic at best and I am going to work to get that cleaned up and back onto a schedule where I'm producing at least one video a week for y'all. Hopefully coming out on Wednesday nights, Wednesday or Thursday. Just to be a little different. Everybody else is putting them out Friday and Saturday, I know. But I want to start putting them out hopefully Wednesday, Thursday, just to be kind of a little different than everybody else. And I want to get back to that at least one a week, if not two a week for you all. Um, but I know that hasn't happened. And, and that was the thing. Since I didn't have the community tab, I wanted to apologize to you all and let you know, reassure you that it is going to get better. But I really want to also apologize to Rob, Sluicebuck, Steve, um, uh, Uncle Lee from Bulgear RC Videos, the owner of Dodgezilla. Rob, of course, being the owner of Root Beer. Sluicebox Steve were doing his bumpers. I got to apologize to Pat from Fat Strings RC um, for not getting his bumpers sent off to him yet. I I just got to weld um, the uh, the mounts on them so that you can mount them to your trucks. Uh, same as Sluicebox Steve's. I just got to put the mounts on them. But I owe you all an apology because these these models are taking way, way longer than they should have. And it's just because of the shit that I've been going through and dealing with here lately. And, uh, you know, um, it, like I said, it's on me. I have no excuse other than I fucked up because I allowed the depression to take over. So uh, I hope you all can accept my apology. And uh, Maddie and I will try and uh, keep each other going and, uh, and work to produce some good videos for you all here in the very near future. We're hoping to get right back on schedule to a video a week and get a lot of building done with what's left of our summer here. So uh, I guess that's about it. Um, the next video coming up will be on Miss Voodoo. Um, I've got a bunch of parts in for her. I've got her diffs in. I just yesterday got her dual ESC. Uh, I bought a Hobby Wing dual ESC for her. Uh, I still have to get motors, but that's okay. At least we can start figuring out where we're going to put the ESC and all that jazz, yeah? Uh, there's going to be a, a Root Beer Dodgezilla video, videos coming out. 
uh, and more on the cabin cruisers and we will do the finals on sluice box steves and uh, fat string rc's bumpers so those are going to come out here very shortly i haven't got any filming done yet um, but i will this weekend and early into next week and hopefully look for a video no later than wednesday uh, from yyc designs rc creations on uh, voodoo and then we'll get working with the other ones as well so um, pat or pardon me uh, rob with uh, root beer we i've i've got to order some parts for him i got to save up some money and uh, and get some parts ordered for his i i kind of buggered up i ordered shocks i ordered them 80 mil turns out i kind of goofed on my setup of the uh, front shocks so i'm going to have to change the mounts completely which means i'm going to have to get uh, a new set of much shorter shocks i'm going to be looking like 60 mil uh, shocks for it so uh, yeah i'm going to have to uh, get some new parts ordered for that but we have the uh, yoda 2 axles or yoda 2 diffs for it so uh you know we're i'm ahead of the game on that and uh we got a lot we can do to root beer uh dodgezilla we finally figured out uh, i was speaking with uh, uncle lee and we've decided that the body is going to be a single piece instead of a box and cab it's going to be all one unit because he wants to hinge it at the rear so that makes life a little easier for me as well but uh yeah, so there's going to be some cool shit coming up on both Root Beer and Dodgezilla. Some cool shit with Voodoo and uh, some big changes coming up on the Double Cabin Cruiser builds because we are going to start adding the planking to them and they are going to really seriously start looking like boats here very soon. And uh, so that's where I'm at. And again, I apologize and I hope you all can accept that and uh yeah what can i do if you do you do if you don't you don't but uh thank you for hanging in there with me as always i really seriously from the heart appreciate all the support y'all have given me and thank you for watching yyc designs rc creations we'll see you in the next one guys and girls take care bye bye